It'll get less blurry in the water, but... Van, van, back deck. Hercules is going in the water. Please okay. let us know when you guys are ready for release. Let's, uh... Roger, stand by. We will let you know. Probably just go for it. Do you want to test things, or are you good? Not really. No? Just going to go? I think so. Ready to go? Yeah. Send it. Control van's ready for release. What could go wrong? Release. Van deck, Hercules is away. Roger, Hercules away. Let me know. What's up? Yeah, it's going to be a pretty dirty dive. Dirty dive. Um, dirty dive. Would you like me to start your mezzo box? Thank thing? you. Uh, no. Van deck, no. Hercules Negative. is. Pass the transom. Copy. Pass the transom. You can do it now, Renny. Okay. Which one of these buttons? It's just run, right? Yeah, yeah. There we go. We got a 780K DC ground fault. That's fine. See if it gets worse. <laughs> I'm going to start pinging Hercules. I don't expect anything real to happen, okay. obviously. One thing we forgot, Josh, was uh, the red book. Bringing the red book up here to note defects. Now we just can't, we'll drive straight to the island with the amount of tether that we have. Yeah, that's fine. Am I on? Uh, what am I on here? Octans, okay. Where's wire? They still they're still paying out more. <laughs> yeah, there's lots more. Yeah. Just I'm trying to take it slow, but I got places to be. Roger that. Hey, Ed, you got a copy? Yeah, I'm good. Ed, you on? I'm here. Can you hear me? No. Nope. I'm on SPL. He's How about on now? SPL. I can hear you, yeah. Right. Can you make a note, please, to tip wire cam up a little bit? I copy change your mind. Thank you. <clears throat> I think it actually bumped down. Hey, this viz is deluxe. Love it. Love every part of it. Atalanta is sort of off deck. Roger. Josh, can not you please really. start trying to troubleshoot the DC ground fault on Herc? 730 is not dive ender, but it'll be good to know what it is. You can start turning Atalanta up. some things off. Yeah, just like turn responsible things off first. So you can turn your seeking off, for instance. USPL, Doppler. Man, he's really sliding. In Craft might be off, the huh? one, actually. If you kill Craft, I bet that's the. I bet that's See, the, I'm more of a slide in, because when slide you slide out. out, then Herc can tug it at weird. You can get caught, and it has a lot of motion to go. Yeah. I like to go a little bit off deck on the way. I don't intend wire cam. Atalanta in water. <coughs> you can see the uh, last time it was updated on the uh, Van, one back of the pages. Deck, alarms, I think. In the water. Roger that. I think we just changed this to just say off deck. Yeah, it's no longer in water. That's fine. This is an audio slate for Dive Hotel 1966. UTC time is 190530. Mark. All right. Um, still, pings are no good yet. Roger. Disregard pings. Okay. I give it one more cycle just in case. Um, you can turn your lights on now too. What's your depth? Pardon me. Sorry, depth. Eighteen. Depth is nineteen. Roger. Going to ninety-four. Roger. I'll stop five zero at some point, and then yeah. we'll uh, reconvene. All right. Uh, vehicles Thank are you. in the correct positions that look like this. 
so you're good. Yeah, Roger. Yeah. Can you check my gauges, please? Man, we're gonna have to mess with some colors here, huh? Yes, sorry, Josh. Yeah, just that whole kind of area with the silly, the silly thing. Control one, bridge. Go ahead, bridge. Need to stop the ship, otherwise we will move out of uh, our position. Yeah, are you okay That's to fine. stop? Yep. yep. Roger that. We can hold position. Roger, holding. Yeah, we don't. We're still, we're still in the pocket. Roger. I think he's worried about this, but we'll be, we'll be all right. In the pocket. You can use the burp, burp. Just click and drag that. If that doesn't work, close it, reopen it. Can you confirm that we don't have... Uh, there was talks of putting the sub-bottom on Atalanta, the sub-bottom sonar. No. Yeah, not on there. Okay. That's okay. a nice to have. <laughs> yeah, it's a if we get it before uh, the end of the year, I'd be shocked. Shocked, I tell you. Hmm. Uh... You can move the monitor. Your top monitor or, or stand up here. awkwardly, that's fine. Copy. Stand we by could ask probably. Tiny Jake back there. Yeah. His age, yeah, no, that makes sense. Yeah. What? Can't hear. Good work. Ooh, that's much darker. Hmm. Yeah, you're welcome. I can turn that off. I want to see the gauges, yeah. What's the gauges flat? I see a flat gauge. Top right. Keep going. Man, deck, all stop at five zero meters. Roger that, all stop five use zero the, meters. Use the touchpad thing, yeah. Uh, we're all stop at five zero, do you want to stand by? Yeah, stand by. Deck, stand by. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, standing we, by. We should recover, that's flat. Uh, yeah, we're gonna come up. Coming up. I don't know what gauge that is, but it's flat. Top right. Yeah, or uh, middle right. Yeah. It's. Or is it? It's not in the middle. Uh, I'll is try there it. A label on it. It looks like it's in the middle, right? Let me try a light. That's not helpful at all. Okay. Try this light. Anyway, I don't care what it is. I'm, I want to recover. Okay. Yeah. Deck recover. Deck control. Go for back deck. Okay, uh, we'd like to recover the vehicles. Do that. Stand by. We will take uh, we'll take control back on the deck here shortly. Roger. Yeah, I don't know. I can't. Don't know why I can't see anything now. The lighting's changed or something. I'm gonna turn this light off. Is that res? It's the magnum. Oh, is it res? Is it above zero? Yeah. Yeah, that's that's fine. That's fine. We're good. Yeah, I'm good. sorry. Good to go. Yeah. Deck, deck, uh, negative, we will be descending. We're all good to go here. Yeah, if I can't see it, I'm not going to risk it. But if yeah, you yeah. can see it, it's Which fine. one are you looking at, just so I know? Is it the uh, magnum? Right side, middle. Be, uh, oh, okay. By. okay, roger. Got a lot of air in the hydraulics. Did anyone burp the res? I did not. Yeah, um, it's, it went down to 250, and it's back to 380. So. Okay, we're still standing by. Do you want to take control of the winch? Uh... Let me sanity check. Yeah, sanity uh, check. Just take your time. Yes, uh, we can take control. We can keep going down. We're proceeding. That control, we're going to take control of the winch. So they don't, all you have to do is drive it. Vincent. Yes. <laughs> yeah, eventually. Don't worry about that now. Did they give us control? Yeah. Give yeah, it go a ahead bump. and go down. There we go. Okay. Ah, uh, we can go faster than that. Deck control. We do have control of the winch. Yeah, all good. Just a low res. I couldn't see it. I couldn't tell if it was flat or not. And we eventually got the lighting right to see it. So it's not flat. We're just at two psi or something. I understand what you're looking at now. Sorry, I thought you were looking at the upper right magnum. I was, which has a label over where the thing is. Yeah, Roger. Right. <laughs> That's only for deck use, really. Oh, okay, got it. Yeah, go for it. You can put a plate aside for me. 
Just no avocado. Seriously, like I'm allergic. Thanks. Great. Okay. I'm going to turn that mid light off again, just to get another look at the res. Yeah, it looks fine. I have the level indicator here too. So we can go a little faster. You can see your meters per minute payout right here. Same on your screen. We can go 20. Hey, what's the highest thing here in the in the water column? Just the monuments? I believe it should be yeah B BPR ADCP CTD. I don't see anything yeah, else. Okay. Yeah. Cool. And the IP. Thank you. And uh, where's the IP? Oh, IP is there. Yeah, Roger. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, so I'm going to stop at nearest the BPR. What are we at? What's my altitude right now? 25. So I'll stop at 10 and then get set up. Roger. Sir. So and you have beams. Let me get you set up on Doppler. Thank you. Um, and to do that, I will remember how that works. Roger, remembering. You are out of auto XY. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we'll get that to. You can probably hold there even. Yeah, you can hold there. That sounds fine. Uh, can you please enable auto heading? And turn on your thrusters and everything. Standing. And auto headings at the top there. Okay, doing a quick reset to cursor. Sorry, oh, Roger, right to uh, USBL. We are tracking, everything's good. Okay, are you set on Doppler or on USBL? You are on Doppler. Okay, Roger. Is Dead bubble cam enabled. okay? What's that? Bubbles okay? Is that blown out? N no, it sucks, but what are you going to do? Copy. You do have Iris on there. It's on manual. There you go, nice. Love that a lot more. Yeah. Now, can you please come around to port? Bring your heading, I don't know, 030. Should be approaching the IP below you. Yeah, Roger. I'm 17 up. So. Yeah, Roger. Thank you. Should be past the IP now. I'll go a little bit more. Yeah. And then. Uh, it's shallow enough. I would hope that the positioning is pretty good. But. Yeah, Roger. And you can also do some tilt there, Josh. I'm seeing a lot of offset here. Well, yeah, you have to turn on the tilt motor. I was warning uh, Dave about this. Uh, turn on the tilt motor, but then watch it in your utility cam because it can run away mm. on you. It can just autopilot. Something seems amiss with the DBL. And then next, Josh, can you turn on the sonar? Get that thing pinging properly. Thank you. Is that showing me 10 meters? Okay. And those are 10 meter grids. Okay. Okay. Here we go. So IP is CTD. Okay, Roger. Hello. Whoa. Are they full? Are you full wide on that camera? Looks like it. Yep. Uh, come up on your delta. Yeah. Delta depth. Yep. Up oh, bottom. Oh, oh god! Oh, there, there it is. Go. Can't tell that's coming at you until it's. Until it's right there. Right there. Yeah. Nice. Love that. Uh, Dave's making me one. Uh.
Thank you, Allison. Thank you. Is this working at all? Pass. We're gonna we're gonna go ahead and check on bottom there. Yeah. So with authority. With authority, we can say we've we've reached the bottom. Great. Yeah, that's not bad. That's probably fine. Do we need any more push cores? <laughs> Just one vehicle sized. You got it. Uh, okay, well, I'm going to try and do better at finding things. Let's hey, try. Trevor, can I push in uh, to get past this uh, camera yeah. housing issue? That Ooh, I got it zoom pretty far to get past that. You want me to just stay wide on this side? We can also keep tilting down on that camera. I got something in view. Oh, nope, disregard. can't see nothing. One Tip meter off bottom. T. I got a sonar target 10 meters out, slightly to port. Uh, let me mess with this, slowest Argus in the world. Yeah. There we go. Got some sonar action coming up here. Yeah, got it over here in the meso Okay. as well. Nope, didn't want to do that. Get your gains up. Why is it so slow? Hmm, I want to be here, maybe. Can you make this faster, please? Take that down to low. I don't need to see the every individual nut and bolt on that thing. I just want to see where it's at. Uh, ultra low. Ultra joy, non-ultra joy, please. No ultra joy. I don't think this is, oh, that's the CTD, okay. That's correct, yeah. I can't, I'm not, I don't feel like I'm getting closer. Maybe I should find the IP first is what I should do. That's the responsible thing. I'm going to do that. Yeah, uh, yeah, be responsible. Hey, Trevor, uh, I'm not sure I see any point in white balancing a camera on this dive. I say we just proceed. Yeah, roger that, Ed. So we have the IP is 30 meters away from our, uh, Atalanta. Did you want to bump closer? Or how are you on tether? I guess we can't I really think, know. I think there's no way to know. Yes, it does. Okay, there's the IP. Okay, I see it in sonar. I'm on the bottom, of course, because that's, of course, what happens when you can't tell when you're on the bottom or not. Yeah, yeah. Love every part of this. You got it on that yeah. over there? Yeah, oh, that's IP looking all right. Yeah, absolutely. I want to curl around and kind of come at it from looking northeast if I can. Because first step is remove the old one, right? Which means we got to unplug it first, I guess. Oh, uh, we can talk to the science row about that. Hey, science row. Yeah. Hello. Hello. First step is unplug the old CTD. Is that correct? That is correct. Yeah. You want us to approach from the <laughs> south side or the north side? So if you can get, I mean, before visibility was a little bit better, but just a view of the platform and then navigate to the north side. A view of the platform. That is going to be the. Well, all it depends. I'm two if meters it looks from like it this, right now. Then it looks like this. All right. So navigate <laughs> to the north side, but stay relatively clear of it. North side, um, Roger. There is an obstacle towards the south, uh, southeast. So just Kay. be aware of that CTD. Yeah, Roger that. Thank you. Uh, yeah, Rennie, let's move north. Roger. Uh, Ten or twenty or something. Roger. So Bridge nav. Good afternoon. Can we step uh, oh. two zero meters, bearing zero two five? Thank you. Is he talking from another room? How is he so quiet? I don't know. He might have been away from it. Driving from their state room now. Yeah. I, I had to check all my levels. They were set to everyone was at weird stuff. So I had to set everything back to zero. Raj. On the listening end. Hey, Science Row, can you remind me of the 
the north side are we actually going to be looking due south we're going to be looking to due southwest due southwest so like uh 225 heading uh the heading would be heading the rov should be on here one second i'll give you the exact heading it's going to be their circle of 46 so yeah okay yeah 225 225 sounds right yeah, yeah. 226 yeah Yeah, I'm good. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna um, rotate out. Are you guys okay? Yeah. Okay. Thank you much. Like flying by sonar alone. <laughs> My least favorite site. Oh, where are you? Come back. Come back to me. Say again? No, I can see it. I get the peripherals. Thank you. Uh, we forgot to reset our wrap counter, so just we got to keep a manual memory of where we went. Yeah. They call them wraps here, I don't know. Turns counter, same thing. Why is this? That doesn't seem right. Here we go. Okay, two meters away from it. Where are you? Head ahead. Okay. It's like, I'm going to hit it. Where is it? Where are you? I'm point, I'm on the bottom ish. It's a meter away and I can't see. Oh, I see something. Where are you? Ah, uh, yes, I remember this view. ROV, this is for the science row. Hello. <laughs> um, just if you want to position yourself, the connector you're aiming for is on the left side of the IP. Yeah, understood. So if that helps. Thank you. Okay, I'm sat down a sec. That looks good on there. Um, I'm going to, I guess, shimmy closer because, I mean, yeah. Instrument platform. Found it. It's right here. Oh god. Yeah, it is. What a mess. Why am I moving so much? I don't understand. Big fish. I'm stuck on something. Okay, I just gotta oh, chill out a minute. I can't just see got anything. Salted. Uh, yeah, go ahead, Josh. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Straight into business. I know I, I got rid of him. <laughs> oh, you mean the bully pants? <laughs> Yeah, that's fine. We often run with it off. We often run with it yeah. off. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yes, but. 
It's 550. It's not so bad. Well, we're stopped, actually. Uh, can you cycle the power to my sonar, see if that's it? Hey, pilot, we're going to do a quick uh, change here at video while I just run down below for a moment. Roger. Yes. I don't really want to ten, turn off the Sea King. That's the only way I can navigate right now. <laughs> Need that. Hello. I forgot that you can't see anything, so I wouldn't even worry about it. Put it wherever you think it makes the prettiest picture. Uh, you can tilt all the way until you can see your own sonar. And it's running away right now, so you got to turn the power off. Turn the power off down below. Keep going down. Bring your mouse down to camera's tilt. There you go. So, uh, back row, front row. Yeah, front row. Hey, front uh, row. we're approximately four millimeters from the platform right now. Um, and we're just standing by just to let you know what's going on. Haven't moved in about five minutes. Yeah, I mean, I could start seeing something that's kind of, unless it's just like some kind of fragment in the middle of your screen there, but I feel like we can start seeing something. It's just going to be sitting down, waiting for visibility. Yeah, Roger. Uh, can when you we see did this on our, our screen there, Dirk? Yeah, I can just, and I can put it on here too. Yeah, great. But uh, um, I think it is improving. And when we landed on the bottom, it was pretty good. So Kay. it's just a matter of there's not really enough current or we're stirring up where we're looking, one or the other. We'll, we'll find out soon. But I think you can see something i think you can see something right there behind that arrow me the arrow's not the right one there yeah okay so we'll just see i mean there's there's some tricks we can try by kind of playing with the thrusters but i don't think we should do that just yet i think it's better just to wait no thrusters roger do you are you currently using any of your thrusters yep verticals <laughs> holding me down verticals holding you down okay so pushing water away, pulling water away from the... Yeah, situation. it's sometimes weird where, where, regardless where it kind of forms the sediment, I don't know. Yeah, no, I hear you. Um, I was at 100% for a bit. I'm at 65% right now. I think I will come off bottom and start moving if I go less than that. Yeah, Hard okay, so if you're happy with 65, let's try it. I think we're yeah. seeing a little something more kind of crawling in over there. Yeah, totally. I'll, I can sit here, no problem. Thank you. Roger that. What else we got? I do think we're, we're clearing up. So it looks like we got a window. You can see I'm going to see a, a light. I can turn off the temperature. And what does it do and why is it important? Oh. Okay, yeah, I can take that question. So CTD is a conductivity. Um, temperature and depth um, sensor and it's like a standard oceanography instrument and we use it for recording both long-term baseline data but also in this site specifically it also has oxygen sensors on it and the interesting part here is we see occasionally on the west coast we see these really low oxygen zones appear and it causes like kelp die off or causes few things but the interesting part about this sensor at this site is it can kind of trigger when we can do, not us, but when scientists can do more um, field sampling. So it's like, okay, we're noticing it now. Now we can start our field tr field sampling more intensively, I guess. Yeah, uh, we have a few of these. Pretty much every site that we have has a CTD. So some of them have been out there for more than 10 years, 15 years or so. And we can like, the idea is to gather a lot of baseline data and see if there's any changes over the long term.
They can also have other sensors on them, like fluorometers for measuring any kind of fluorescence in the water or, or oxygen. Hey, Trevor. Uh, once he's ready there. Oh, it's almost ready. Josh, let me know when you're, oh, never mind. Just connecting your headset right now. Josh, are you on, oh, on comms? <laughs> Josh, once you're ready. Oh no, he's still not plugged in. All right. Yeah. So if you unmute, then you can talk to me. Talk about up. Yeah. There you go. So we're just sitting right now. Yeah, I see that. I mean, it's, I'm not sure what that is, but I mean, that's not really a ground fault, but um, I can ask Trevor about that when he comes back. And yeah, I mean, we're just keeping an eye on, you know, gauges, which we can't really see right now, <laughs> right there. Uh, that's the PDU just as a camera that shows our voltage and our amperage coming in. Um, and then I usually, once I kind of get used to doing like the laps and the checks, like you'll, you'll find all the different things, like where your pressures are. 
And then your, your, if you click on Atalanta, that'll bring up, that's your, that's your Atalanta screen. So that's all your stuff on your vehicle on the, on Atalanta that's on. Uh, that's your, that's your auto heading. That's the set point auto heading. Yep. That's my heading. So that's Herc setting and that same idea here. And then I could see your heading. I mean, we're never going to see the vehicle <laughs> in this anyway. <laughs> well, I can start to see the porch. Yeah, I think, Josh, what happened is we landed on the other side of the platform first and stirred up a bunch of sediment, and we're now seeing that sediment clearing after 10 minutes sitting here. Okay, can you hear me, Dirk, on the... I can hear you, yeah. I can I can hear you just, but I'm not through the, not through the headset. Oh, oh check are you levels. on talk and listen? Are you on SPL? Yeah, SPL, yeah. What's up? Josh, you got me on SPL? Yeah, I can hear yeah. you on SPL, yeah. Dirk, can you hear me on SPL? Yeah, I can hear you. All right, let me check your trims. Somebody might have somebody turned down. <laughs> And there you go, Josh. I just reset your cross point gains. Okay. And I'll do side right <coughs> as well. Yeah, <laughs> you guys both have one another turned all the way down. Not all the way. I no wonder it was such a productive watch. That's me, sorry. <laughs> right in front of us. <laughs> SPL test, one, two, three, four. Test, test, test. Yeah, I copy.
Uh, no, we have to do it here, yeah. Gonna end up sitting here until they get back. <laughs> uh, down, yeah. Up. Up. Hey, Josh. Hello. Um, can you, while sitting here, is there like a very low percentage forward thrust you can put on without expecting to move? Yeah, put the little forward fans Just, on. You only have, I think, 60 down, so. Yep. Yeah, the key with this operation is going to be staying down current for all the operations and landing only once at each site and not having to reposition. Because when we, when we, you weren't here, Josh, but when we did touch down, it was fairly, fairly good. Okay. It's just, yeah, we're in yep. behind what we've caused. Yep. The visibility has improved quite a lot. I can't believe that what we were trying to point out on the screen was actually on the porch. Yeah. Yeah, and hopefully we're th we don't need to move a little forward. Hopefully we're close enough. I think you can just start to see the connectors that we're looking for right there. A little lower. Uh, so the launch started launch. All right, there we go. Josh, what would be your best guess at where the current's coming from? Looking at that IP camera, or is that on the Niskin or? Uh, I don't know, it's pretty low. It's pretty hard to say, but it, it's very low. Yeah, you can see the individual connectors showing up right there. Yeah. The one we're aiming for to disconnect is the one second from the um, your left and uh, it's green. So the first one should be an orange connector. 
and then we're looking at, you can kind of see the green cable on the bottom of the screen right there um, and that's the one we're going to try and disconnect okay yeah because things are starting to come out clear now do you mind can we have a look at the parking oh you can see the parking position already on the porch it just was oh. it i was able to just see it there it is somewhere somewhere in there this guy all right that's where we have to what we're going to do is we're going to disconnect that and then place it in the parking position oh on the fletcher yeah yeah I have to get my uh, get my ONC jargon hat on again. Remember where all things are. Did we not send you the list? Oh, no, just frequently. Me. Just me. Oh, okay. No, I don't think we have a list. I was like, "There's a list." <laughs> no. <laughs> no, there's no. You list. should make a list. The you ONC decoder list. ring. It's not gonna. It's gonna be some very basic words. So, given the visibility here, Dirk, and given that we have to unplug two yeah. CTDs. Do you think we should do them both while we're sitting here if we can? That is a great suggestion. I um, I do think so. I didn't even, I was just, you know, way too into following step by step, thinking outside the box. I, If we can reach it, that would be the key. Um, the one... Because we'll be dust capping both of them. Okay, that's going to take us a little bit to consider because we have we also need the parking position that's coming out of the CTD on the um, on the porch, mm -hmm. the new CTD. Mm -hmm. We need that parking position for the um, CTD that's currently sitting on the very right side. Now, right. we can either take a chance and disconnect it and clear the cable off to the right, which should mean a clear cable for us. Mm -hmm. And we come and pick it up later. Or we take the chance and try and plug in the new CTD but I don't love that idea because then we're flying around with a CTD that's plugged in and we don't really know where we are and it could very well be that all of a sudden we're two meters away from something when it, we only have tether for one. Yeah, I don't love that either. So I think I think considering the constraints with, the, with us being here and the pilots and everything, I think your suggestion is great and maybe we don't put a parking position in the CTD that we disconnect. The MacGyver CTD? Yes. Um, because then we're effectively, unfortunately, yeah, we have to come and land back. No, if we have to come back to plug it in, then it doesn't make sense to do both now. If we can True. bank on similar yeah. visibility. Yeah. The advantage would be if we can do all the connecting right now. Yeah, which we don't want to do with the, uh, with the new CTD. Yeah, because if we look at our sight light diagram here, yeah. we won't be able to free this one necessarily. We could probably place it here. Yeah. And then we have to connect the new one, fly it over top of the old cable. Yeah. No, 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 we can't do it. And Nico writes a good plan. We should just stick to it. Well, you know, yeah, and the, yeah, he definitely does. Makes it very easy to be here. Um, where we do? Stir it up a little bit. Um, so this might be as good as we get, Josh. Might be, yeah. So, so you can see the green cable, right, going into that. Um, maybe we can zoom in, yeah? Yeah. Uh, that's what we want to disconnect. So if we want to... Disconnect that and then put it into the... And put it into that parking position, yes. Okay. I think I think what's happening is our current's coming from here, Megan. It's coming right from the south. Yeah. Heading north. Now that green cable connected to that um, connector that we're going to disconnect. That's over top of everything, so it's not underneath any of the other cables so once we have it we have it in the parking position we're going to fly it clear kind of essentially northeast we're just going to back up with it
There's a That's funny. We should keep track. Of how many times did we you figure out how to move like this? <laughs> the gauge camera, the one Stick that got bumped. It'll be a lot. Oh, there's, one. There he is. There. Yes. So here, why don't I just hand this back to you because I haven't really done anything yet. So we just no, all good. Otherwise, it anyway you get more hit in the game. We're disconnecting the second one, uh, the and then we're putting it in the parking position, camera. and then I'm gonna fly it, fly it back. I think. So do you want me to? Do you want me to just? You're good handing it over like that. Um, I was just gonna get bubble going so I could see something, but. No, yeah. Yeah, the. Your suggestion would have been really. Hey, back row, pilot change complete. Thanks for the update. Uh, I'm going to grab the one right out there and just unplug it and put it in the parking position. Easy as pie, right? That is correct. Easy as pie. What's happening here? Oh, that's all you got. Okay, neat. You got any more tip up? Oh, I see. Yeah, you, got, you probably have to use the manual. Do you want me to come in with you? Yeah, please zoom in, Ed. Coming in. Winston! Holding there. Good there. Oh, uh, is that your dog? It is my dog. Oh, nice. I can come in closer. I can unplug know. it, right? We're powered off, secure? Yeah, we've got confirmation. Thank you. Whoop. How about I don't do that and instead just grab it? Yep. There we go. That's got it. I'll come out with you. Uh, come full wide, please, Ed. Full wide eye. <coughs> Let's pull full wide. Okay. Why am I doing this? Uh, hmm. I'm going to fly for a minute? Yeah, totally. But if I pull, I'm going to pull the vehicle in. So I might need you to thrust back. So we got stick lock on. Have you had the walkthrough? We got stick lock on right now. That keeps your previous inputs. So as soon as that button hits, a lot of them are going to reset a little bit. So we're going to push down on that to get that back to about 50% vertical. Keeps us on the bottom. And when I pull, you're going to pull that back, you know. <laughs> so first step is get your stick lock off and then get your inputs secure. Oh, is that an octopus coming out down the side of the platform? Yeah, right there. And then we're going to, ready for a pull? Okay, I'm gonna, oop, not like that, I'm not. I'm going to pull back and, okay, oh, why did that happen? Great, I love that feature. Ed, please zoom in. Coming in. Thank you. Good there. Did you see that? that? I don't Big see Okay, the uh, come wide, please, Ed. Wide eye. And uh, thrusters backwards. Okay, good, stop go. the thrusters there. You can just do the 50% down and maybe a 10% ahead. You want a dust cap here before we leave? Um, give me one second. I'll get back to you by the time you've got that operation done. Can you use the joystick? The the one of them yeah, in. going into J9. Uh, yeah. Sorry. You can lock your stick lock there. And then uh, use the one joystick so on in and tip down Megan. so I can line up on that parking position a little bit, please. <clears throat> and Ed, you can follow that in. Yeah, coming in. You can go side to side too there, if yeah, sweet. Uh, let me try and get a focus on that. Oh, there you go. It's the best you get. It's actually pretty good, all things considered. Well, what am I doing? You want to see the arm? No, that's fine. Got her. Coming out. Come out a little bit. Good there. There. Can you tilt up a little bit, please? Good there. Oh, down. A little tap. One more down. Good there. Yeah, it's happy. 
Okay, full wide, please, Ed. Full wide, I. <clears throat> hey, back row. Can you please confirm Go that ahead. I want to leave this in the parking position to fly this away? Or do you want to do the dust cap first, or what's the next order of ops? So what we're, it doesn't matter. So okay. whichever one, you just want to back up to the <laughs> northeast as you're backing up. Yeah, roger that. And because that would clear the other cables. Not very far, just like, I don't know, two, three meters. Sounds good. Uh, probably dust cap first while we can possibly do it. Um, we're going to be coming back here, so leave the dust cap for now. Leave the dust cap, by. I'm going to get the arm stowed. And then uh, yeah, camera secure. The other or, thing sorry, is we're aiming, thing for, arm. we're aiming for four next. We can grab four, put the dust cap from four right into two, and then save that one, one operation. So Dirk, we're going to back up two to three meters, ditch this out of the parking position, and then fly over to the actual device itself. Is that correct? Yes, that's correct. And okay. that is just uh, east of the platform there. Would you like to do the this one or this one? Up to you. This one, okay, great. Do you want to where do you want to sit? <laughs> okay, if you're doing this, let's have you here. Okay, pilot change. <laughs> Anyone watching back home, visibility is going to get better down the, down the line for this cruise. Little, yeah, parts of it. Uh, why am I not hearing you? Uh, am I talking to you? I'm talking. Yeah, might be I have volume it. way down. It's okay. So you're going to back away. Ooh. Pretty much keeping that same oh, heading. Great to have our meters. scientist here for this question. And then we're going um, to. Ditch the it's, uh, thing. It's quite shallow, and this area is very productive. Good? So it's a combination mostly of um, that we don't need to land. biology in the water column settling down and being suspended this close to Take your time, get set up. the shore. No, and no rush. So I think that's mostly it. Normally, if we come meters, here, we right? try to come here up march, a little bit, of course. And then yeah. the dragon on bottom, it's but essentially yeah. clear. That's There's the hardly any there. fouling at all or any of this like What's bad visibility. Sort of sub? So mostly it's just slightly dead. heavy, slightly new. <clears throat> so it's dead pretty neutral. Whatever. Uh, the reason it's not coming up is because I have a bias on. Yeah. And that sets the summer related. Pretty neutral, maybe slightly positive. I didn't really dial it in. Okay. It's probably close. Uh, let me see what else we got here. Yeah, it's good. Okay. You want me for me to start coming back, yeah? Yes, go ahead. <coughs> So this is your how far back you've gone meter. <laughs> We're at about meter and a half, two meters so far. Once you get outside that bottom ring, I think we'll ditch it. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna ditch it now. Okay. K O and C, folks, I'm dropping this now. Sitting on bottom. Go ahead. Okay. It's dropped. So, uh, Trevor, I don't halted. know if you were here for the theory, but we're going to try and... Uh, I think we waited so long for visibility on the first go-around because we landed on the other side of the platform, and then when we positioned in front of the connector panel, we were just waiting yep. for the sediment that we stirred up on the other side. Yep. So we're going to try and stay on the northeast side of all these little things. So okay. when you're approaching the monument, try and stay on the northeast side and don't go on the southwest side of it. Roger. Okay. So, um, mm. you landed right now, right? Yeah. Okay, great. Let's uh, do a quick uh, put the arm away and or at least put it somewhere we can see it. Then I can turn it off there. Okay, quick regroup. So, you follow what we're planning to do here? You see on uh, the nav screen yeah. there, we got the two targets. The one on the this side is the instrument platform, which you can see. 
and the mm -hmm. one uh, lower south east is the monument. Okay. So the plan is to go to the monument. It's a two meter monument. Yeah. So we're going to go there and we have to pull a CTD off. So while flying midwater, we're going to do a grab with all the visibility and we're going to grab it, pull it up straight off and then put it somewhere that we can find later. Okay. <coughs> so, so which, which is which here, Megan? So we're, we're getting this one and we're going to move over to this one. Right, so this is ROV. That's Argus, I'm sorry, Atalanta. Atalanta. So we're going here. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Now we're good to go there now, yeah? Uh, yep. Yeah. So, carefully you don't knock it over. And, uh, ah. this is this is hard mode. So we're right in the deep end. This is it? Probably here? that, yes. You won't see it in that sonar because that's too high on the vehicle. Yeah. It's two meters itself. Uh, so you're going to be going off here alone. I can try to fine tune it a bit, but okay. Yeah, not, not much. Might. Is that better or worse? That's worse. <laughs> it's like an eye test. Yeah, no kidding. Let's see what happens here. So you're heading. Say so your auto heading, that's off at the minute? Correct. Oh, right. It can be on, whatever you want. And tweak, and then it resell holds, or have you got to take it off, turn back yeah, on? Yeah, good question. So when you're in auto heading, you can, uh, it'll follow the yellow ball, and mm -hmm. changing the joystick will move where the yellow ball And is. then it'll reset. And when you let go, and it will reset. And when you okay. let go of the stick, your current heading will be your set point. Not, yep. doesn't matter where your set point was, it'll snap back it'll where you It'll come back to are. there. Yep. Okay, I'll figure it. Yep. Would have been nicer to figure it in visibility. In but not this dive. Mind. This is not a, <laughs> it's not my favorite starting dive, yeah. All right, see what happens. Okay. <clears throat> i give you a little more width on this in case it gets out to the side. Show me where we are again. Uh, got it. And so you know point 0.2 and point 0.3 meters are on bottom. That's the distance from the altimeter to the deck. Okay. Deck. Watch change of video. It's just there, look. But what's that? Three, four meters out? You're in two and a half meter rings. Is it? Two and okay. Half, slightly to starboard. Three meters slightly to starboard. I can look into what that yeah. orange cable See? is. Just give me one second. So that cable passes right by the monument. So if the cable is on your right, monument should be just to the left. Which direction are you facing? You're facing southeast or southwest? Yeah, you, if you follow the cable, you should pass right by it. Yep. Uh, and it should be on the left side of that cable. Okay. Understood. There's something on your right. Yeah, 
think so. That's. It yeah, I think that's it. Just here. Mm -hmm. It could. Um, these the drawings aren't always perfect, but I think that you can see it right here, right? It's. I think it's right there, isn't it? Yeah. Thought I saw it. Okay, never mind. Thought I saw the tripod, but. All right. Show me again. Where is it? I can't. I can't really see it, Megan. So yeah, sorry. It, it's supposed to be right over here, right oh, off. Okay, I got to it. To starboard. Yeah. Okay. At least that's what the map says. Yeah, I trust the nav over. <laughs> over our eyes. Over my eyes in this. I've been wrong before, you know. Starting to see a little something. There it is. In the platform and sonar again. Oh, uh, that's the IP. Should be right here somewhere just in front of us, yeah? That, yeah, that's what. Yeah, it looks like uh, just off to starboard, you get some a target. You get some targets right ahead. Mm -hmm. It's one of those. Yeah, point seven off. <laughs> yeah. It's like flying blind. <laughs> Ugh. It's like, oh, there's the bottom. It should be right, right here. Right in front of you. But if it was that close, we'd see it. Those hits might be something. Can I try that other frequency again? Yeah, go for it. I'll just hold here for now. Yeah. Or what's this? Yeah, you. So we were here and we approached it from this angle here. Uh, I think we're kind of probably over here somewhere right now. I'm expecting it'll be on our starboard, starboard side. About two and a half meters off the starboard and just North in front of way. us. Yeah. Yeah, we're sitting like this, pretty much like that. RVs here. What's our range to um, to the platform? If you had a ping on it. No, just cable and this. Um, you were quite. Um, the nav was quite far off for from the when we did our connector. Yeah. So if you look at your tr snail trail there. Uh, where the IP is and where we actually stopped. Like yeah, we stopped right about here. No, where the c we stopped a little south of there, where the kind of where it breaks up. Oh, yeah, there. Yeah, that's kind of where we stopped. So I would expect that same offset from our um, CTD monument. So we maybe were on so the wrong side of it. This one, the one with the shadow, you think? Maybe. That one looks promising. Yeah. There it is. <laughs> I think um I think it might we might be in a position where it's behind us. Oh okay, you think it might be behind us? Yeah, I think we might have gone too far because our because of the offset, yeah. I think. Yeah, um, because right now we're right on top of the marker. And the marker was nowhere, kind of, yeah. <coughs> what is and that size? Yeah. Five. It was about six meters back. Yeah. 
so about six meters back from here. Have you ever seen a little thing in the snow march that's right in front of us, like one meter? Yeah. I think we sit and wait for a moment, see if it's there, see if we see it. Okay, yeah, that's a good suggestion. Sure, yeah, that sounds great. Yeah, we don't want to leave if it's right in front of us, so. Yeah. So what's that, um, the screen with your kind of more the multi-beam sonar? What's that one? Yeah, I'm getting I'm getting the old school black sonar. Yeah. Okay. Okay, how do I, what name does it have? Can I put that on one of my screens here? Engineer, okay, cool, thanks. Eng. There we go. On your um, 360 scanning sonar, what is the, what is the radius? What are those circles? What are the distances? Oh, okay. On the Herc one, 10, okay. Two meters tall, but it has a CTD on it. So the, the sonar itself is two meters tall. On the top, so what do you see it on the top? This one is mounted lower. Okay, so it doesn't have like a significant angle. No, because it's on like, it's like being here on my hat. You can't see down into the brow. So it's meant for long distance stuff. Gotcha. Headlamp with a hat on kind of situation. Yeah, yeah okay. Yeah, exactly. Been there. Uh, yeah, I, I do feel like there is something that's straight ahead of us. I think I, you know, is that something we're seeing right there? We do. It's uh, probably the server not down page. It's not on the server. There's a few. There are a few things down here. There's something lying right here. Yeah. But could it? This could be the monument that's fallen over. It does look like it's fallen over, whatever it is. Yeah, you can see, I feel like I can even see a cable. Yeah, there's something there for sure. You can see the bits on the sonar. Yeah, there's something. I believe this monument would look like a big ring, like that-ish, but I don't know. Could be on its side. Oh, there's something you can see the cable forming in here. There's the Falmac cable there, or a cable. I believe yeah, this thing must have fallen over. Definitely possible. Yeah. While we sit here, um, can we try zooming in on that white thing? It might not give us much extra, but. Probably nothing yet. So when they okay. ask for so someone wants to zoom, you ask for it for video. You say video. Hey, you know, when you're lined up, you can just say it on SPL, they're listening. So they're going to be talking about it. Okay. Yeah. He said, can we try zooming? Ed, can you hear me okay? Yeah, we got you. It's uh, you Pete on controls right now. All right. Okay. Pete, you zoom in for me, please. Hold on a minute. 
I definitely feel like there's a cable, a green cable here. Mm -hmm. And this looks like a, oh, yeah. this is the CTD. This looks like an oxygen sensor. Yeah, turn it Probably like a wee a bit more if you can, please, Pete. Yeah, that's a device ID label. You can see that? Looks, that's what it looks like. <laughs> what what device ID number is it? Uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> can you see? But whatever this is, you can see. That looks like a pump, like a CTD pump. And the CTD is Yeah, it does like look that. like it's I'll stop drawing on your screen there, sorry, people. <laughs> <laughs> It's really fun to play right. with that teleprompter thing. I know, this is great. Normally, traditionally, it's uh, you get up, get your mic caught, make a big noise, and then go point on the screen. <laughs> you know, right. you can put little emojis up there. I think it's Pete, you can come back out oh, full no, wide, mate. We're, we're not doing <laughs> the emojis anymore. Oh, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> that's fair. OK, so I think what we're looking at is the CTD that's fallen off the monument. It will be a best guess here. I think you're probably right there. And, I don't know, Megan, how do you feel about just... Oh, the only other thing close to, I mean, we're in the wrong direction, is that media converter plugged into a foul mat, no, over to the west of where you're pointing. Yeah. I'm going to steal the bubble yeah, cam the for a second. That's the only other thing shiny and Dave. Yeah, go for it. With a foul mat cable, but that's not it. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if the monument was had tumbled over. where we are here, we will to reach whatever that is? No. So maybe we have to do a, a scooch up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bump forward. Yeah. Yeah. Just because yes, otherwise, sir. once we see it, we're gonna have to stir it up again. Roger. Bump forward, coming up. <sighs> okay, Megan, we have to think about alternate positions for the CTD, because I don't think we can wrestle with a monument and try and get a monument right yeah, side up. Boy. And hang a CTD on it. What's that? And hang a CTD on it afterwards. And hang a CTD, yeah, I think it'll be hard. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you can see. Oh, no, that's cable. There we are. Something. It's buried, looks like. Um, the media converter can for that cable is way up here so it's no way yeah. it's that no. and it looks like a cylinder i think this has to be our ctd so grab the green cable i can't believe can you see. couldn't read the device id that would that no would but we need a barcode sure. scanner then we don't have to see anything <laughs> uh, oh that's getting more clear yeah As long as we find it's not just a zip tie on the right, it's not really a cable. It's just <laughs> a stick with a shell on it or something. It's oh no, you can see the protection case for the pump, like the titanium shroud. I think, like, this holes. Yeah, that's it. I reckon your eyes are much better than mine. Yeah, I don't see any of that. <laughs> okay, so in here, you see there, there's like a box with these little holes in them, like that, if you can see on the next wave. That's the, that's like a metal shroud over top of a CTD to protect yeah. the sensitive bits. Okay. I think I can see the holes now. Before I couldn't see a hole. I think maybe you just really, 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 really want it to be the CTD. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's part of it. <laughs> and it's not just me, we should all want this. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay, Eagle Eyes, do you see any part of the monument anywhere? No. It might still be on it. Right? The tube might still be connected. So, But it looks like it looks like the tube side is all buried. If this is the CTD, then I think the tube side's all buried down there. It seems like it is the CTD. 
I, I wonder if we should. Um, Right, Pete, can we zoom back in on that bit? Yes, sir. Mm. Yeah, it looks like it's, that's the connector right there. I can't even see anything on this. Oof. <laughs> yeah, I should have a porch picture of when we deploy this. Is that this one? I should have this one. Yeah, I think you're right on the connector. Yeah, go ahead and zoom back out. Here's the one that was Copy. actually deployed. Thank you. On this end, I feel like we're seeing a bunch of cables. Yeah, that. I feel like we're seeing this right here, this connector. We definitely see the, I think we see those things. And then I think we're seeing this as well. Hmm. I'm just trying to figure out the best place to grab this since the grabbing the handle is looks to be stuck in the mud. <coughs> yeah, I think all of this. Yeah, I don't see any of that. Yeah, it would be like that. If the if this is if it's still on the monument, if we look towards the port side, the the base of the monument should be off towards your port. <coughs> Quite a bit left still, and there somewhere. It's not there. That's the CT. That's what we so suspect is the CT. But it doesn't look like it's on the monument anymore. I think we should I think we should take the cable and just pull it. The foul mat? Yeah, or do something. We gotta do something. Yeah, um, it's buried. Yeah, it's buried. Uh, can we grab the cage? Can we look at that again? Yeah, yeah. We're seeing this. I wonder if we can grab that, the metal piece shroud there. Do you think we'll, do you think we'll actually be able to see the metal shroud? Do you think?
I just want to, this is kind of the best visibility we've had. Yeah, right in there. Okay, tape, let's come in a bit tighter on that myth. Copy that. So we're looking for that, this is all supposed to be titanium, and we're looking for that square. See, this is that square piece I'm talking about, right in there, that piece. Yeah. And see the nozzle sticking out? I think that's what we're seeing right here. So we just, this is it. I, I don't think we're going to get more comfortable with the yeah. fact that this is the CTD. So I, um, I would buy that. I think grabbing it by, Matt's not going to like this because we might mm -hmm. get a connector, but I think grabbing it by that middle shroud is probably the best or by the cable. What do you think of going like under uh, the cable and lifting to try and... I think we're going to get like one good grab. Yeah. It'll cause it a lot like of... A yeah. Coming off of here. So, but it should go in this direction. If it is on the monument, it should be pulled in this direction. Mm -hmm. So we could try and grab the cable here yeah. and just pulling sideways and then dangling. That, that works. <laughs> All right. Okay. Yeah, that sounds... I, I, I like that better than trying to... Yeah. There you go. Now you can really see it. And where would that cable? Like uh, yeah. about. Where's its strain relief to? Just to check where it's out, whether it's gonna. Check. To um, strain relief to, to that. To okay. I think that will be. It's tough to tell, but I think it's coming on. Something's attached to that piece. So there should be a monkey's fist too, but we. I don't see a monkey's. Okay, I mean, unless that's it. Oh, I think I see it. You see, there's like oh, an really? orange ball that's kind of on the left side. Yeah. Is that it? I d right. It should be just oh, right here. green. Right there? The oh, okay. Yeah, that thing. should be green, though. Oh, okay. But it, I mean, yeah, that it's does look like a ball. Hey. Um, we can also grab it by, by the pump. Because we got to make an action here. I think this this is right there, that string. I think we grab it by that string. You can see that string? I think that's this. Uh, oh, really? That piece, yeah. Oh, okay. I think that's our best bet. That's something. I mean, worst case, we grab the pump connector, but that's at, at this point, that's pretty irrelevant. All right, we, Matt Tradewell, if you're listening, <laughs> apologies in advance. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Okay, ROV. When you're ready, let me know. Yep. Hi, Dirk. Stand by. Hello. So we are going to try and grab this by this little string here. There's a string in behind there. I saw it there for a second. Yeah. It's okay. either a string or it's a cable, but that's where we're going to grab. And what are we doing with this after we grab it? Then we're going to move it um, back to the IP. We're going to reposition in front of the instrument platform. Okay. Now, just bear in mind that if you are pulling on that, pull towards the starboard side because it might be that the handle on the other side is still somehow constrained within the uh, monument. So it would slip off if you pull towards the starboard side. I thought you said we should pull towards the starboard side. You should. We yes. want it to slip off the monument. Yes. Okay. Dirk, while they're doing that, we should think about where this new one is actually <laughs> Yeah, plan go. B, yeah. Probably. Hey, Trevor, don't not. leave. Said, so don't leave. No. Yep. All right. Hydraulics are coming on, Dave. Yep. This arm. Yep. Okay, and this is the oh, this main button hole. Well, can't see. I don't know that either. <sighs> Did you get Ooh, a porch this, picture this of is, uh, this vehicle? <laughs> no, it just makes funny noises. Beep, 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 beep. Oh, unless it, well. Do you want to try a bit of zoom in on there, yeah. or are you have copy? Well, that was the cable. So, yeah. Mm, 
Did anybody see this string? I, I think it, I don't think it was a string. I think it's all cable. Cable. Oh, is that a that's, that's a string? That's not. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. Oh, is yeah, that yeah, a yeah. strain relief okay. on the cable? Either way, I think I the of the three. So, so you've got this one, this nice. one, and this one. I think this one is the one you want. Yeah. Am I grabbing the right one? No, that's no, you got to go a little down. It's like right. Sorry, Dirk. Show me again with the theater. Right under. Roger. Right under That's it. Oh, that's it. Yeah. Is it? I think yep, that's, that's it. it. Yeah, you yeah. got it. Yeah, probably. Well, that's that's great. Good work. No. Okay, let's swing back you... out again, Pete. Full wide. Thank you, mate. Does it wide. does it seem stuck? Uh. No. Okay. <laughs> That's pretty loose, isn't it? I don't know what I got a hold of, but yeah. You've got a hold of a piece of poly steel. Don't twist too much in case you have a hold of something else too, but I think the poly steel's what you got. I'm just trying to lift it up, I guess. Yeah. You tilt up a bit, Dave. Oh, I see the monkey's fist now. Yeah. And then the anemone was the other monkey's fist. Well, I don't oh, know where do you okay. want me to hold it, Dave? <laughs> oh, like here? Or yeah, not? that'll do. Okay, I'm halted, grip lock's on, hydraulics are going to be left on to the arm. Okay, so um, for our next move, we want to go back to the instrument platform, we're again approaching it from the north, from the northeast, and we're looking, we're going to be using the, um, the third from the left connector on that connector panel. So we want to land so we can work on that connector panel, or on that connector, if that makes okay. sense. So I'm basically bringing the ROV back to yeah, here. Yeah, back yeah? here, yeah. And this cable that this thing is is unattached, we we just We've unplugged it. You just freed the other cable, yeah, the uh, the connector. The other end of the screen one. Yeah. Okay. Now, I would. You want to come in on that panel from that north northeastern side, but also not. You don't want to head there straight from here, just in case we stir up mud that's going to affect that working area. So we want to kind of come in from the north northeast. Yeah, I'll, down. I'll back off maybe ten meters and come back. Or out yes, around perfect. It. Yeah. Thank okay. You. How long is this green cable? Ten uh, meters. Ten meters. Ho hopefully it's about ten meters. It's exactly ten meters. <laughs> but it's free on the other end. Pardon? Yeah, yeah. We um, this part of the plan. Pardon? Yeah, yeah. Th th this would be the time, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I um, talk about it after. Okay. I just, every time we kind of do the ready ride into
Hey, Enrique, did you guys make a note that the monument is was not visible um, and probably fallen over? Got mon you written. We noted it indirectly, but we'll make an explicit note as well now. I was actually extremely lucky finding the CTD on the seafloor. Yeah, Megan, take a look at the sonar, where how close we are, and they can't see anything. <laughs> yeah, we're about a meter and a bit away. If we are going to land, as long as we land within reach of the connector, so we don't have to move again. Because we're probably going to have to sit for 15 minutes or so. Run down and chat with Steph on uh, placement of the CTD. If okay, she has yeah, that's input a good on call. data quality. Yeah. What's up? Yeah. I'm frustrated. Sure, yeah. Second. I, I just thought you wanted to know if we were frustrated. Turn on Wi Fi. I don't have the Wi Fi set up yet. Yeah, maybe I'll come off here. Okay, well, maybe I'll just do this. <coughs> Ready? Got it? Oh. Sense, nice. All right. Perfect. That's really the only one I got. I could try a different angle. Um, I have this one. Oh, I've got this one too. That should be coming your way. Okay, sent. It works. That's pretty much all I got. I got this one and this one. That, that's the more useful one, that first one. Yeah.
think I see a thing. Oh, there's another thing. <laughs> Um. Um, while we are waiting, can we grab a position, a um, confirmed position for the instrument platform when, if, it's, if the time is right for that? Did you hear that, RV? No. No. Uh, yeah, Ulrike is pretty quiet, but we're just looking for a, a updated position on this platform. Uh, do you want me to drop a marker? Yeah, and if you can read out the coordinates, right? Sure. Is that what you want, Ulrike? Or if you can display it on the screen, that's also... I can turn on the nav screen here if that helps. So. Um. Yeah, it's right on this top of the uh, ROV nav. You can okay, see where so we are. If you go here, you go that, and then go knob rav. Knob rav, there. Is it the... Um, can you just show us one more time where it is? That box? Yeah, this box. Okay, that's thank exactly you. where we are. That's so that's the current position, yeah. And in, in terms of heading, I would just wait for the visibility to clear and then kind of confirm whether it matches up with our previous heading. So right now we can't see the heading of the platform, but we will once we see the connector panel. There we go. So, scooch. Tink. Pardon? Uh, it's on your screen somewhere. It'll be on there. Yeah, I don't know. Just. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. Putting oh, it down. We can grab it in a second. We're going to put the CTD over to the right. Okay. So I would say, I don't know. Wait, no, don't wait. The starboard, the corner on the right-hand side of the instrument platform, maybe a meter to the right of it, if your arm can put it there. Okay, do you want me to wait for Viz? Do you want me to try? No, it's fine, right, this. Okay. <sighs> okay, here we go. Can you pan the camera? Yeah, that's for good. Me? There. You're happy there? Yeah, I'm happy there, yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'm gonna let it go, Dirk. Okay. Okay. Some bundles there. How do I tell if this is. <laughs> Never mind. And if you're ready, um, if you can put the connect the CTD connector into the Fletcher. Roger. Actually, no, we we'll change up the procedure here before we're gonna. Roger. Uh, hold on. Holding. I'm just waiting for Megan to confirm the how she wants that CTD placed. Can we look down at the CTD just to look at where the handle is? All right. That's good. I'll just wait there. Roger waiting. Uh, hmm. <laughs> What's the name of the game? Hurry up and wait. Did I get one? They said that? No, I didn't bother. Okay. I think I'm going to make it. I feel like I'm. I, I, yeah. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep.
I think we have a pretty good idea of what we want to do. I'll get confirmation, but for the time being, if you can position your manipulator on that yellow um, fiberglass and get a grip on the CTD. Okay, I was going to grab it by the tube like we usually do. Okay, let me let me just look at that one second. I've got a picture here of it on the porch, and I by the tube. Yeah, the tube is good and bad because it turns in the yeah. I think grip, but it. Uh, I think the fiberglass would be yeah. Uh, a little bit. I don't know. Is there a good enough place for me to get my fingers in there without just having fingertips? Is there something like uh, you can draw on the screen there, Dirk? Where well, uh, unfortunately, the angle is not great, but I think if you draw a manipulate, I'm going to try. Yeah. Like that. Okay. <laughs> that was really, really nice. Thank that you. That was perfect. Uh, I'll, I'll try, Dirk. following your rod. Yeah, you don't want to plunge too deep, but I think you've got at least two, two and a half, three inches there. On the far side of the ring no, protector just, or just the go near side? On this side. You want it there? Yeah. All right. Where's the sensitive bit on the top of that thing? That thing's not particularly sensitive. Okay. Yeah. So that that's probably good there, Josh. Happy? Yeah. Just and hold I'm there. Holding? Yeah. So now we're ready. I my guess is we're gonna place this right on top of the connector panel. So if we can maybe look there with the camera and just confer well it doesn't really give us much, does it? It's a little white. <laughs> there we go. Um, yeah, I think the plan is to put it horizontal right above the connector panel. Horizontal right above the connector. In there with all those sponges. Yeah, right underneath of the sponges, above that bumper oh. bar. Mm -hmm. I thought yeah. they were anemones. Yeah, they're anemones. Yeah. Anemones? Oh, okay. Um, they're just so happy looking. They're happy? They look happy to me. They look like cauliflower. <laughs> they do look like cauliflower. Yeah. What's up, Dirk? Hold on. Holding. Give me one second. I think if anyone knows if an animal's happy, it's negative. <laughs> Probably. Okay. I might have to step out. Um, since we're since we're still kind of waiting for Megan and want someone from science to talk about the position of the CTD. Um, I think while I'm away, maybe forget the CTD and take the the dust cap that's on this port. Uh, I can use, I can't see it on my screen for some reason. The second one in. Maybe camera down a little bit so I can draw it. This dust cap here, we can place it in this over that there. You just want to do the old switch. Swap the switch route. Roger. We want to move it one to the left. Uh, okay, and now uh, we'll be oh, back. With flare, always with flare. Um, but I will ask, uh, I can get my arm out of the way, but I then I'll ask to come you to switch a bit so I can see the next <coughs> port over. Yeah. Just like six inches. You want, you want me to get my arm out of the way? Or you want nah, you should be good, mate. All right, Roger. Can't see. Ooh, steady. <laughs> Comes up awfully quick. I think I've actually got the fucking porch in there. 
Alright Trevor, I'm going to go deal with that. Arm is hot. Yes. Okay. So I'm going to be letting go of the CTD. Okay. Can I just do that when I'm ready, or are we waiting on Dirk? I think he said to go ahead and do it. Okay. Might as well start making that happen. Underneath your yeah, Roger. Your cable. Just shout for whatever you want for the camera, mate. If you want to zoom in or whatever. Roger that, yeah. Let's try and nuzzle it. See what I got here. Okay, so neat. What's going on with this thing? Go away. Go. Nobody invited you. Just <laughs> gotta leave. Video, can I get a partial zoom in, please? Keep going. And good there. All right, thank you. Yep, ooh, yep. Go away. Go away sure great and i'm doing this dust cap moving it there correct yeah yep. that's right. correct sounds good oh good we got the old blind action that seems fine that means you're doing it right mm -hmm. that's that's good let's do the old that's it yeah beauty that's pretty good. Just kidding. Practice run. <laughs> Tricked you. Where are the arrows on it? I don't I can't see any. I'm gonna look for the need a sanity check here. Give me a sec. Give me a sec. Where are we here? So that hmm. Does that make sense?
Can you look at your lights page, please, and turn on the down light? So on the top, uh, or sorry, middle. Yeah, oh, lights awesome. and down. Oh yeah. Ruin the video for the video team and then have them fix it. Yeah. There's an there arrow, you go. and there's an and arrow. There's Perfect. Well. Ah. Great. Okay. You want me to turn that back off? Yeah, please. Wonderful. Does the arrow go up or down? Down. Hello. That's loose. I think that's, yeah. I don't like this at all. This is not on or nothing. Are you maybe too close? Uh, with the vehicle? Oh. I don't think so. Yeah, you can get in there. I just... I mean, aside from the fact I can't see, but ignore that just for a moment. I can always come across. Is that on? I doubt it. That just went in. Is that in? Okay, I'm gonna get out of there. We can do a double check, confirm, zoom. Stay in, please. Uh, okay, I'm halted there. You can go in full, fullish, zoomish. See how close we can get. Keep going. Yeah, that's probably fine there. I don't think we get a better confirmation than that, eh? Hmm. That's all right. We don't have any adults in the back row right now. The two two middle adults are gone. <laughs> yeah, just go up, pretend to be. We don't have any adults in the front row either, so. <laughs> Yeah, there you go. Uh, you want to just call that good and do the next thing? So it, it doesn't have to be horizontal? It can no. be vertical? The dust caps have two pin positions. Oh, okay. So we like to do this, this way. This is with flares. So oh, that way okay. you can look at a glance and know what's a dust cap versus a connector. That makes sense.